Welcome into the Stretch Four with the Bulls Outcast. I'm Big Dave. That's my main man, John. You can follow him on Twitter at jsabine214. My man Matt is in the mountain somewhere celebrating his birthday. Happy birthday to you, Matt. We miss you, man. We'll catch you when you come up out here next time. Uh, 106.99, John. I, what? I am so confused about what we just saw when the fourth quarter started. We had plans to talk about the Oscars and a bunch of other things. And then a basketball game happened, and I don't mean that in a positive way. This was on us. This was the closest thing to the Monstars taking the skills from NBA players that I've ever seen. I, this is a bad loss. This is bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. And this is like a Boylan-esque type collapse. Like, And I don't know. It, I, the good thing I can say is like everyone went, did bad at the end. Like, the, the blame is everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. Zach lost it. Patrick Williams lost it. Donovan lost it. Like, so I don't know if that's a good thing, but that was just a weird. That was, we, we lost by almost double, like, it was like five points at the end, but like they were up 11 with 50 seconds left and we were up 20. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, what can you, I don't, again, KYP, know your personnel. Maybe this is just our personnel. 39 to 19 in the fourth quarter. That was the scoring uh, for the San Antonio. Uh, I mean, the Bulls at one point sh were shooting 26% in, in the fourth. It was just bad all around. Like, and, and to play that well for about three quarters, to play that well, like that getting well. To, to getting off to that good start, because, you know, that's been the complaint. You know, like the Bulls haven't been getting off to good starts, and then, you know, the vets will have to come in on the bench and save the game, and then, you know, we'll see what happens. Now they get off to a good start. They look fluid. I think seven people had scored in the first quarter for the Chicago Bulls. They they just were cooking. And even at halftime, for you betters out there, like the line had, was, was the Bulls to win by 14. That was the line. And then the Spurs said, oh, no. We we don't do lines. We don't we don't do that stuff. We're in San Antonio. We walk on the river walk. We don't gamble. We come out here. We just play basketball all day long. Yeah, it was four amazing. Lot, man. Four lottery picks. Dude, the they're amazing. Franchise. They're amazing. Like we we were marveling at the Spurs franchise, like you said, John. Like just all throughout the game, like you said, four lottery picks. We we couldn't even think of just impactful. Of uh, free agents they got during its championship seasons. I'm talking about, like you said, guys who more, more than one team wants, you know, not yeah. like Steven Jackson's and, and guys like that. And it's they're just an amazing, amazing franchise. And you saw it again tonight why the Spurs are the San Antonio Spurs. Confident basketball, never, never not competent. Yeah. Yeah. Like, never not and, confident. I mean, truly. And I mean, if you, so if you, if I were to show you the box score right now and were to tell you that, you had six bulls in double figures. Mm -hmm. so, sorry, five in double figures. Uh, but four four of the starting five had double figures. Zach had 29. Wendell mm -hmm. Carter had 10 off the bench. And we lost. Like, Sato had seven assists. Patrick Williams had 14 rebounds. Oh, Jesus. We lost this game by a lot, by, by a couple of baskets. Like, yeah. That is bad. And I guess, like, the person who had, like, the worst game is Lowry. Yeah. But, like, he balled out the other day. Past two games, he's had, like, 25 points a year. So, it's like, yeah, is it Kobe? Like, Kobe just doesn't seem right. He hasn't exploded in a month, it feels like. Mm. Where he just struggled to get he, – he got to nine points or ten points. Like, nine. yeah, God, nine points. Like – you pay yeah. 22 minutes, you get nine points when you're a scorer. That's crazy. Yeah. It's zero it's, assists for Kobe. Yeah, it was a bad, it was a bad game for him. Uh bad game for him. Uh bad game for even Otto Porter Jr. We're watching plays like a three on one break. And we're watching Denzel getting fancy, putting the ball between his legs back to Otto Porter Jr., who is almost seven feet tall and goes in for a layup and blows it. And then the Spurs come right back down and hit a three point shot. That's bad that, team stuff. Like, that's the trade. That's my yeah. trade. Auto yeah. Porter Jr. Auto Porter Jr. is gonna be gone. Yeah, yeah. No, and he needs to be immediately. Like be I've been wanting him gone for a long time. Like he's got to go. He bothers me so so much. He really does. What he finished with six points, fifteen minutes, six points, missing layups. Like I don't understand what you're doing out there. 
Um, you mentioned John when you said earlier about who the losses were on, and, and you mentioned Billy Donovan with it too. And this was the first time I like looked at Billy, and I was like, "Wait, what?" Because there was a sequence in that fourth quarter when the bench was getting cooked, and the timeout, the proper timeout was called, and we're like, "Fine, the timeout's here. We're getting the starters back in. Let's go ahead and get this." And he brought in the same lineup back in. And as soon as they inbounded the ball, then Lowry and Zach come off the bench and go to the score table. And then Patrick Williams, during that time, just proceeds to turn the ball over. And so they give the Spurs a possession. I, I, that made no sense to me. I didn't yeah. understand it. it, it if we no scored lie. right then, that's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Because you're trying to stop the momentum of this team because obviously they were rolling. So that's why you put your guys back in. You don't give them extra two seconds rest like – you put your guys back in, Zach and Lowry. You put them in the game, man. So I didn't understand that move by Billy Donovan. That was like probably the first one. I was just like, dude, that's bad. You that's shouldn't bad. That's and bad. so here's a question for you. All right. Who are you voting off the island right now after this game? What? What do you mean? Like, who, what do you mean by this? Who, 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 it's like, I need it. You're go, you get, you're in timeout for a week. I don't want to see you. Auto Porter Jr. I don't, I don't yeah. want to see you. I don't want to see him, man. Like all the Porter, I don't want to see um, everybody. I and I could make the argument about Archie Diacono, but I don't expect anything out of Ryan Archie Diacono. Like whatever he does, I'm like, of course he did that. Whether it's good or bad, yeah, I'm like, yeah he did that. Of course he did. He's got to shoot better. He has to. He does. He does. But it, <laughs> Archie Diacono, like honestly, it's, it's Archie Diacono. I don't care. I but, don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, like, like truly, like, <laughs> like, like truly, like he's a house salad. Like, yeah. <laughs> what's my meal? Like, sure, it's fine. Like, I'm not coming to the restaurant for it. <laughs> he's the tap water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, sure. Food. They put lemon in it. Like, right. NBC Sweets puts limes flavored yes. water. It's infused. Yes. Sure, sure. There's a hint of lime. Oh, the free bread basket. Cucumber. Wonderful. Yes. Great. You know he's that. But Otto Porter Jr. is supposed to be a part of your rotation, a serious part of your rotation. The sixth, seventh, eighth guy off the bench that you're bringing in. And he's honestly giving you nothing this season. He's had a couple of spurts, and that's it. Um, I was nothing. talking to him earlier, and he was saying, man, he, look, he was looking at him in the layup line like his back still hurt, like he still was struggling to do certain things. And you saw that when you can't even get up and dunk, and you got to go in for layups. 28 million bucks for this, man. No, we didn't pay him not, that, though. To be fair, I, we're paying him, but like we didn't sign him that. I, I know, but it's still astronomical. I, when he signed it, I remember doing a podcast, and we had to bring up the worst contracts that were signed, and that's the person I had picked was Otto Porter Jr. about the worst contract. Because you could have picked uh, Baysmore at that time, too. No. But I, Otto Porter Jr. for me was that, because I was like, wait, he got what? Like I, I didn't see anything that warranted him getting that, but he got his money. That's fine. But dude, when you get that, I at least give me, you know, fifteen points. You know what I'm saying? At least give me some confidence that I know you're gonna spread the defense. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they got to worry about you when you have the basketball. You know, at least be a threat out there. He's been none of that stuff. He's just been just running up and down. You know, just running around and jogging. Give me full running between three point lines. Not even running all the way down. Like, just doing the old Rashid Celtics Wallace, like when he was on the Celtics, just running between the three-point lines. Give me a three-minute stretch in the third quarter where he erupts for seven points. That's and it's it. like, yeah, great. That's all we need. That is yep. literally all we need. Yep. Like, how great would that be? It would be nice. Uh, Jack says, Billy, here's your next starting lineup. Sato, Kobe, Zach, Thad, and Lowry. Oh, uh, wow. So you're putting P. Will on the bench? I mean. I don't mind it. Yeah, well, you know what? Yeah, I, I've been. Yeah, we've been trying anything. So yes, you're right. Yeah. We, we have been trying anything. So yeah, I'm not gonna say that's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, try anything, especially after this kind of thing we saw tonight. It's been bad. Um, let me touch on Sato again because I kind of touched on him uh, earlier okay. during, during the uh, fourth quarter. Uh, like you said, seven points, seven assists. Uh, but he played 34 minutes. Uh, to give you that, this what I saw tonight was the Sato that I feared to see. Like, I'm, I know he can facilitate, and I get those things. But in that fourth quarter, that's when, you know, teams are like, oh, Sadoransky's on the court. You know, they're like, oh, we don't we don't really have to deal with him. Hey, let's go double Zach. 
because mm-hmm. we're going to pass it out to Sadoransky. You called it. Fine. You know what I mean? This this is what I've always been concerned about, why I didn't want him starting, was those kind of situations. You saw Billy Donovan immediately say, hey, come grab a seat next to me, Kobe, get in the game. And Kobe's not even shooting well, like we already said, but you, you put him in the game because he's the scorer. That's always been the thing I worry about the most with, with Sadoransky is those kind of situations. And he gives when he's when Kobe's in the game, Zach has more freedom and more yeah. space. Yeah. And like Sato, you just know for a fact if it's one of those nights, you can't he's not gonna be able to hit the ocean. Yes. Yes. He's just not a threat. He and like not that he can't shoot, it's just that that's not his mentality. Like I don't know what it is. Like he's just like content to not, you know, like shoot it's like Steve Nash used to like shoot as a last resort, you know? Yeah. And it's Ooh. like not that he's likes enough, but like it's just like you have to shoot, man. Like you have to. Yeah, like it's good basketball if you're a threat. Yeah. Uh, and so I, you, you saying this is the saddle that you fear the most. I think that was such an apt way to put it because I think you're right there, 100. percent Yeah. Uh, how much, John, do you think the Bulls are missing guys like Garrett Temple when they when they have games like this? I can't. No, none. No, who can? Who cares? It's Garrett Temple. Thank who cares? Thank, thank you. Ca- if 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 you're like thank sure, you. like if if a part. If, if collapses are hinging on the Garrett Temples of the world, like then then we have bigger problems. Yes. Yes. Like Garrett Temple isn't a straight up nobody. Like <laughs> he's fine, but like he, the second he becomes a bull, we're like, God, best off best, best off season signing this of the summer. And you're like, what are you talk? What are you? What are you talking about? Like he's a, he's a we're the only team that called like. <laughs> <laughs> like the Nets seem to be doing just fine without him. Like, right. like oh, Bradley Bill was his best teammate. What does that mean? They watch <laughs> movies together. Like, dude, that that's the correct answer. He like, can keep if, a if, secret. Right. <laughs> oh man, he's like the vault. Like, if you're going to Garrett Temple, you know, to be like, man, he, we got to have him in the rotation. I'm I'm concerned. Yeah. You know, I'm just I'm concerned about going on because I'm like you you had enough to win, and you had enough to win tonight. Like honestly, you should have won this one tonight without him against the yeah. Spurs team. Mentioned their two stars because one of them they got rid of, and the other one you know is at home dealing with the loss of a loved one. So you you had a Spurs team who didn't have their best. You know, they were, they were missing their two all stars. <laughs> yes, and and people they, who have they, been all stars. Like yeah, or, or have been all stars. Right. They're, they're two best players, yeah. Yeah, and they're missing them, and you, and you out here, and they played like they were missing them for three quarters, and in that fourth quarter, when you couldn't hit the side of a barn, because the fourth quarter you saw that lineup with Kobe, you saw that lineup with Sato, and those guys in there, and they could not score. Like so, when Kobe's not scoring, who's scoring? You know, like who's going to get the ball? Who's going to put it into the basket? Because somebody has to spread the dang on defense with their jump shot and their ability to score. From the perimeter, not just inside, but from the perimeter. That's what Kobe White does. But if he's cold, who's going to do it if Zach is on the bench? Somebody what? else has to do that. At that point, I want Zach to be hardened at this point. Mm. And just every eat every time. Eat every time. And mm. don't – when you get in the lane, don't look to pass. Look to get fouled and shoot, 10, shoot more free throws. Like, that's what we need you to do. Like, you have – this is your team. Yeah. Um, Ryan says, I'm glad this team is fun this season, but now that we are in it, it's hard to stomach all these losses that we could and should be mm-hmm. uh, yeah. eager to see how AK and Mark Eversley address this roster. Yeah, because John, I mean, he, he he had a tough time with, with this loss right here tonight, man. Like, because you know how good they looked, you know what I mean? And you're like, man, and you know how they good they look for three quarters. You're like, yeah, you should feel good about this. We beat a West a Western Conference team that's in the playoffs. Like, yeah, we should feel good. You Get hate. I never want to work. And if we're <laughs> up twenty, you know, it's gonna be a fun time. I'm gonna I'm gonna see Dave. Like, I haven't seen you know. I get to talk to Dave. Now it's like, oh, what went wrong? You know, like what went wrong? And I feel like we've worked on the Bulls for so long. Mm-hmm. The Bulls were so bad they cost us a job. You know, like, you know, if they were decent, we'd still have a job. Like the Boylan cost us took money out of our pockets. <laughs> like we didn't even get bubble money. You know this what I mean? True. This is true. They told us to go home last season because we were so bad. <laughs> and then NBC Sports said go home. 
you know, we'd rather talk about sports betting <laughs> eight hours on the air. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, this, this is what this loss brings up. Yes, like, and you're like, oh, this, is what it God, brings up. You, this is why we can't have nice things. This is like we could have Zion and we have Kobe White. You know, we could have Jaw. Like, oh, dare I say, we could have had anyone from, from that, from 2018. Yeah. Like, eight would have been great. Yeah. So so now, John, this kind of brings up uh, those questions again about the trade deadline. So now that you're getting closer again, I think you and I want to say, like, everybody is on the table pretty much. Yeah, except yeah. Patrick Williams, right? Everyone's on the table. Yeah, I mean, like, unless you can get, like, Bradley Beal for Patrick Williams, you do it. Right. Like, right, like right. if you can get an all-NBA player, right. not even an all-star, all-NBA if I'm the Bulls, I'm trading Lowry and I'm trading Otto because I don't think Lowry's resigning. He's like, I just, I think he's happy to find a new home. Like, he's going to get paid. Someone's because people have money. He's not going to get paid. It's just that everyone was waiting for Giannis, you know, <laughs> and Gobert to be around. Like, you know, all these guys signed their extensions, yeah. and so there's Giannis type money out there. Yes. And so yes. someone, you can't play cap space. Yeah. Yeah. He is a tall 20.6 rebound guy who has shown he could be 50% from the field and 40% from three. He's That's going to be- Yeah, he's, he's not even 25. Yeah. He hasn't played with a point guard. Maybe it's just a bad situation. Like maybe it's a Jermaine O'Neal uh, Blazer situation. And then he goes to the Pacers mm-hmm. and he's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think he's gone. So I think that's why you trade him. Yeah, I agree. And you get something for him, man. And, and something that you need which is size or a point guard. Those are the two things I think the Bulls are lacking, man. Um, before we get out of here, John, uh, I wanted to ask this question, and I yes. wish they won because this question would have sounded so much better. But I wanted to ask this question because they talked about it, and it's about Zach Levine and just how good he's been. How mm. how much um, – I guess I, I guess the question I'm trying, I'm trying to word it correctly, but how much of an argument do you think could have been made for Zach being in the MVP conversation if this None. team had more wins. You'd have to be in the like fourth or better, right? Mm-hmm. I, he has the numbers. I do think he has the numbers. Like it's weird to me that like he's like Jokic is getting so much love, mm-hmm. and they're like seventh or whatever they sixth or whatever. Like they're not lower tier. Yeah, yeah, they're not in the home court. Mm-hmm. Uh. He still has to have that signature. I need the league pass. I need the signature moment. I need the, this is the Zach Levine game. Mm-hmm. We don't have that. His numbers mm-hmm. look, he looks good on paper, but watching the game, he doesn't have that force of personality where he takes over or, except for that one Hornet snip. But like, I'm waiting for that. But I think you're right. He has the numbers for it. His numbers are like historic. Yeah. Um, what do you think? I, I mean, I agree with you. Um, like you said, man, like what he's done this season has been amazing. Okay. He's first time being an all-star, um, you know, just being the star of this team, 28 a game, you know, he's having a, what a, a 50, 40, 80 season right now. 80. Like, and he's very close, very close to 90. Like he's not far off from 90, but a 50, 40, 80 season. So he's doing like Larry Bird and Steph Curry yes. stuff, putting up those kind of numbers. When it comes to scoring, it's pretty much him and Michael Jordan. Like he's Efficient. kind of eclipsed. Like yeah, he's he's kind of eclipsing like Bob Love scoring records. Who was the the other greatest score I remember for for the Chicago Bulls? Bob Butterbean Love. Shout out to him. And yeah, man, like he's 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 been incredible and amazing. But I think you would if they were winning. I think you could say stuff, but I don't think it would get you a seat at the table as far as the conversation. You no. know, you could say. Hey, what about Zach? You're like, yo, you know what? He's having a good one. Yeah, he's cool. You know, and then you talk about the other five or eight players ahead of him, you know, because if I think if they were winning, John, I think he would be a top 15 guy, maybe. That, maybe all make- NBA. May- yeah. See, to me, it's maybe all NBA. I don't think he's like, and everyone in the MVP conversation has been to the playoffs. Like, yes. they don't really talk about MVP guys. He ain't been there yet. Yeah. Unless, yeah, like, fact. you're averaging 50 you know if, if he was averaging 35 maybe you know like yeah. but he's still not scoring in like bunches bunches he's just like very efficient and like very good like yeah 
He's, but he's, we know for a fact he's an all star, which when we started the season, we didn't know that. Yeah. And he true. belongs. Like he's an all star. Yeah. He belongs. He'll be, uh, Adam, He'll be an all star next year. Yeah. Adam says third team, all NBA third team. Man, that's so tough. That's like, so like he said, it's got to win. You know, like he's never won four games in a row in his career. Like the Nets like, will have two all NBA guards, you know, <laughs> yeah, and then you'll, yeah. there, then there's only what, four more? Mm. Like, no oh, man, like Jimmy Butler's gonna be all NBA. Like, like, like so, so let's, let's do the guards right now. Let's just do the guards. Okay, Dame, okay, Steph, Harden, Kyrie, Luca. Luca's going. Kyrie yeah. might not make it. Kyrie's making it. Kyrie's gonna but be like, all NBA. Kyrie might not. So, but like, if that's even an option, then Zach's not in. You know what I mean? If Kyrie might not make it, so like Dame's definitely in. Do you put Ben Simmons as all NBA because he might be Defensive Player of the Year? And of course, Bradley Bill. Yes, Bradley Bill. Adam forgot about Bradley Bill. He's I don't think Bradley Bill's gonna be on NBA. He's in the convo. Like you're leading the league in scoring. Like, you're in the his, shot, his shots losing it. I, I just don't think he will because the Wizards are such a trash heap. Like I just don't think he will. Like okay. And I think there's too many more deserving people at this point. Okay. Like okay. But I, I think being leading the league in scoring puts you right the, in that conversation. At, at the end of the season, he's still in the story. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you're in the scoring, you should be all NBA. That's like, but I don't think he will be. Uh, Fair enough. But Zach, will be, like, that's that's the thing that sucks. It's just that that's is he a top fifteen yeah. guy? No. Does that mean he sucks? No. That just means that no. they're good people. <laughs> right. Right. And, and you're right. Not that man. Devin Booker. Booker. Uh, Chris Paul. You know. Uh, yeah. You got a bunch of guys. Uh, you can talk about Tatum or 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 Jason Brown. Like they could be in the uh, Spider Mitchell. Yeah. Like Spider Mitchell. There, there are a lot of great guys. Truly, like, like at least like Paul George and like they're forwards. They'll probably, you know, like, but it's just, it's just stacked. It's just so stacked. It's stacked. It's gonna be hard. And like, Wins- Vucevic won't be all NBA, and he should be. But he, right, right. But he should be. Like he's right. playing. He's uh, he's amazing. He's been amazing. But yeah, and you're right. Not that Matt. It was it was a bad bad night to try to talk about this, but that was definitely on my mind because we were winning at one point. So I was like, oh, we can have this conversation. So, so who we got yeah. next? Oh man, who are the Bulls playing next? That is a very good question. Let me find out well, for Peck you, sir. Wi Fi, this is like who knows? Like, who knows what he, <laughs> yeah, well, he come hey. back from the mountains? And doing? we're playing the Nuggets next. Uh, we're playing the Denver Nuggets, and you know, our tourist wants the victory. Yeah, you know, he wants the victory. We're playing them on Friday, you know, he wants this victory. We got to give him that. If we, if we don't go to the playoffs. We got to have a win that we hang our hat on. Yes. And that win, when you know the owner who you love and who you're like, this is our guy, you know he already showed you how much he wants to win against his former team. Yep. You have to give him a signature victory to hang his hat on, man. You've got to do that for him. So they got to get this win, John. They, they got to. I feel good about this next game. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Okay. Practice is going to be okay. hard for them. Let's do this. All right, let's do it, man. I'm in. And that's going to do it for us, the Bulls Outcast, two-thirds of us, man. Big Dave, my man, John Sabine. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. You can also catch this show as a podcast, a podcast. and you can check it out on the Bow Sports Network. Anywhere you get podcasts, you can check that out. And also, we're on the Bow Sports YouTube page, and we're on Facebook Live. And follow my man, John Sabine, on Twitter at jsabine214. On behalf of my main man, John. On behalf of Matt, happy birthday to you, brother. Love you, man. Happy birthday to you. Have a good one. Happy birthday, Matt. We miss you, Matt. Peace. Happy happy 21st.